Welcome back, everyone, to the next installment of Killer7. We're in what apparently is Heaven Smile HQ. And we got some smiles to murder. This gonna be good. Despite the fact that I just upgraded Dan, well, what do you say? Hmm. <laughs> He's a fast one. Also, watch the reload. Yeah. This is with no upgrades. His guns are quite weak, though. And so is his vitality, actually. It's pretty low. Right. This guy actually has a pretty sweet ability. I don't think I've unlocked it yet. Yeah, I don't think so. But he can just make himself go ultra fast. Like, th make it makes this look like nothing. He goes blazingly fast. Travis. <laughs> Uh, well, you know what? Dan has a down attack if I really need it. Let's do it. Let's go. Okay. Yes. <laughs> As you can see, Khan is not my most practical choice right now. He's great for crowd control, though, as he can stun quite well. Of course, Dan is nowhere near as fast as he is. But then who is? Kevin's probably number two. Coyote's decent, though. <laughs> this is too easy. Delicious. Oh, it feels good to get back into the swing of things. Hmm. Right, so I just came in. So there's north or east. The save station was over there. There are two hands. And then below me, there's another hand which I need a ring for. Hmm. Tricky, tricky. Okay, just Travis. <laughs> Ain't that pretty wicked? You know, this is one of the only times I don't think I can read his tank top. That's actually pretty rare for him. <laughs> There you are. This is too easy. You definitely want to grind on these guys, and you gotta get a bunch of criticals in a row, because otherwise it's just disappointing. Now let me check. There was room 212. I don't think there's anything past that. I went in there with nothing. No, I can keep going. Well, I know I want to go back this way, because that led to the laundry room, and I know this because I've played this game before. Oh, it's locked from the other side. Okay, I'll come back then, I guess. Well, still, the laundry room is where I want to go, ultimately. Oh, this guy. It should be OSE. Who's? That's creepy. All right, moving on. I do love this song. 
or this music, I should say. Songs require lyrics, I believe. Oh wow, that's a first, in the name of The Fool. Pigeon, carry your pigeon. Dear Emir, it is a pleasure to make your acquaintance and many thanks for choosing me for the job. My name is Johnny Gagnon, otherwise known as Speedster. I get excited when I slit a guy's throat. I know that may be sick, but I do the best work in town. This is a report on the job. I'm sure you'll like what I have to say. I watch them like a hawk, so I think a hefty reward is in order. There are seven in the Smith Syndicate. Dan Smith uses a large caliber revolver. Kaede, who uses a large automatic rifle. Khan, two full auto pistols. Masked Smith, grenades. Kevin Smith, knives. Coyote, a modified gun. Garcian, small pistol. They are an armed force that rivals a small army. You wouldn't want to be on their bad side. In conclusion, it is in the interest of the United States to keep them around. There's no telling when they might come in handy. I'll be contacting you again, Johnny Gavin. Obtains courier memo. Hmm, <laughs> Harmon's room. No need for it just now. I want to say there's another one. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. This is too easy. This is too easy. Damn. This is too nice. Six X, baby. You like that skill? So, bunch of stuff up there. But first, I'll stick with the side path. I don't need you and Hyun. Restroom, nice dead end. <laughs> really? This is too easy. See what happens when you upgrade critical? You can actually hit the damn things? Sprinkler can't do anything with that yet. No water. Right, I forgot. Still not done. I need that flame ring. Which means I gotta fight the four smiles again. <laughs> this is too easy. Where's your critical? Ah. Damn. Combo stopped. Well, that's unfortunate, but not too big of a deal. I could always work my way up again. All it changes is the amount of time it takes for me to harvest blood. West, east, or north? Does west lead to a doorway? Yes, so I'll hold off. <laughs> That's the puzzle sound. Fine, I'll go to the control panel. I need items for that too. Well, the game's keeping things simple, isn't it? Just the way I like it. Oh, the laundromat! Prepare for the most disturbed character in the game by a lot. That's right, I need that from the bathroom. Prepare for... Absolute creepiness. 
I need to turn it off. Okay. This woman. My god. For the record, her name of her song is Emoticon. Believe me, that is as tame as it gets. The stuff she says later in the game is downright disturbing. <laughs> what the? Ah! That would have got me a big blood bonus if I shot it. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Go away. Damn. That's a hint. That's a hint. Lock my padlock. Coyote Smith. Sleazy thief. I don't think I actually wanted to go through the door. <laughs> oh no, I, ca I can loop around. I have the fire ring. Hey buddy. Where's your weak point? Perfect. Speaking of the flame ring. Don't you love the sounds in this game? How cool are the sounds? So there's two things that I need to do with the fire ring. This is one of them. One, two, three, four, five. Piece of cake, am I right? I love the sound effect. Hey, that's one of the things that fits into the library. The odd engraving. And puzzle solved. Now to head to the restroom. <laughs> Pretty good, huh? By the way, even if I don't save in a Harmon's room, it actually does pay to enter one. Every good every time I see one, because if you get killed, you can take over as Garcia Smith and bring the guy back, but you have to pick up the body from the last Harmon room you were in, so it might take a little more backtracking if you weren't. Another off-duty Samantha. And by the way, if Garcian dies, then it's true game over. Garcian's specialty is he can bring back the dead Smiths. You pick up their heads in a bag, and just take it back, and resuscitate them. It'll probably happen in this playthrough a few times. <laughs> oh, whoops. There we go. Huh. Firing hells.
toilet flushed. That's the pipe from the laundry room, so I'll head there one more time. What do you think? Like in the game so far? Wait till the plot happens. Huh, I locked out. Although technically it's better to keep fighting them so you keep getting more blood and upgrading your smiths. The only smith I like never upgrade until later is uh... Kevin, because I just don't use him. He's not as powerful as Dan, and his ability is, like, hiding from things. Although he is really cool. And he's the one guy who, because he doesn't talk, doesn't say anything when he gets a critical hit. Another odd engraving. Back to the library! This first level looks complicated, but it's actually pretty linear, and everything you can find, the, the cursor clearly points it out. Control panel. Got him. Yikes. You like that? Damn. Where's your critical? Yes. <laughs> I love that laugh. <laughs> yes. He was Aru. The mask is whack. Your mask is brutal. The thing with Mask, he uses twin grenade launchers, he'll kill anything. The problem with that is you can't get critical hits. Okay, it looks like nothing but dead ends that way. This guy is crazy powerful. <laughs> Gotta do this carefully. I can't attract his attention. <laughs> Good. I'm not sure what the significance of the yellow blood is, unless it just means there's more of it. Carrier pigeon. Dear Emir, Emir, we have a problem. A terrible thing has happened. I can hardly believe it, but the money is not in my account. I need your help. You got my last message, didn't you? Also, I love how the, par the pigeon is apparently called Pussy. I trusted you. Now don't let me down. Promise me. Wire me the money immediately. 125 bucks is peanuts, I'm telling you. The Smith Syndicate operates in strange ways. Garcia and Smith manages the other six personas, and mainly acts as a negotiator for work requests. Garcia never eliminates people himself. His role is to retrieve the bodies. Even if another persona is killed, it appears he is able to bring it back to life. Like a wizard, I tell you. However, it is my hunch that someone off stage is calling the shots and controlling Garcia. There must be a hidden mastermind, separate from the active team. And it's likely that this mastermind assigns the jobs. Garcia is very loyal and he values the organization. He controls the personas to keep the organization safe. He's a middle manager, you see. The members switch using the medium of television, but I have yet to determine which governs what governs the switches. The Smith Syndicate is composed of one sensible person and six freaks. I have never seen the Personas interact with each other. Soon I expect to unmask the myth behind this strange group. I'll be contacting you again. Johnny Gatman. Yeah, we're total badasses in this game. I'm 
You like how you could see his hand through his body? Ugh, remembering his own death. Wait. Oh no, that was Iwazaro's hallway. Okay, I did check it. We're getting toward the end of this, I think. <laughs> Tighter than tight. Ooh. Beware of old friends. I'll head up a Harmon's room in case I need to respawn. Hopefully it's a save room too. <laughs> nope. Samantha's just chilling. But still, entering the room does count for something. If I die, that's where I'll respawn. Although I would like to save. <laughs> Another scene? Get that away! What is this thing? God, this is rough. Ugh. This game is brutal. Ugh. She's half the woman she used to be. <laughs> oh. There you are. Um, where am I? Well, this is clearly a dead end. Yep. My ex wife, Mizaru. Yeah. Death shower is disgusting. <laughs> Which means Kaede is right there. So we have Iwazaru, Kikizaru, and we're about to see Mizaru. This is gross. Death shower. No kidding. Also, yeah, she takes an hour to reload. But, wait for it. Gross, but awesome. I'm already getting used to the controls again, this is nice. Oh, a soul shell. Beautiful. Okay. Explore time. <laughs> hey, buddy. I'll come back, unless... If the place all connects, then I'll have no choice but to turn around. <laughs> oh no. Combo stopped. <laughs> Where's the blood? Yeah, I don't want to be at the end yet. 
Jesus. Yeah, they actually run away from you. How soon? Now. Oh, I remember this. One more. Also. Sure do. No. This will be important later. Oops, excuse me. I'm a fool. There we go. So at this point you see me play as everyone is Kevin, although the others I'll admit were extremely brief. This room really makes you exploit everybody, doesn't it? Once I complete this section, I'm gonna save and quit. Let's get into that point. What a beast, one hand. <laughs> Where's your weak point, buddy? There it is. That's a pretty good reload. LA. Yeah, they're worth a lot, but they only spawn the one time. Okay, so this room was locked, but the only thing it had in it was a smile that was worth a lot of blood. Fine. Okay, the, there should be a Harmon room before the exit. Damn. Screw that up, didn't I? Where was that? Uh, where was that exit? No, it's the way I came in. Okay, now I'm oriented. You see how bad I am with directions? It's a travesty. No. Here we go. There should be a Harmon room. And there should be a save point, because I think the boss area is coming up. Perfect. First, let's watch some TV. Who do I want to power up? Well, first of all, let's load ourselves up. A lot. So satisfying. <laughs> Ten. 
And by the way, it pays to see the doctor every once in a while because a thousand blood is the maximum you can hold. So after that, killing guys is not profitable. Oh, oh! It looks like I maxed out the level. <laughs> I love that. No! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's all the blood I'm getting on this level then. Don't make me fishy. I've changed my mind. What did you say? <laughs> Later. Peace. Peace. Down attack, I think I got. Counter attack. That's basically the down attack, except. When the enemy is standing up at close range, you just knock them off real quick. Destiny. Mask Destiny. What did you? Do a little more to Dan. <laughs> you still are an ugly fella. How's it been, huh? Double tap. Nice. What the hell? Dan is going to be a freaking monster by the end of this. He's my main, so I'm making him insane for a little while. Bingo. And now that we've made that much progress, I think it's time to stop the installment. Well, we certainly made a lot of progress today, didn't we? We got even further through the Heaven Smile headquarters, and there was a lot of talking to be done and puzzle solving, but we got through it all, and I believe we are right before the boss of the level. You're really going to like how the bosses in this game are handled. There's a setup for one, and then the big payoff at the end. I know it sounds like most games, but it's great. You get a little introduction to a mini-boss, and then deal with the real thing. It's going to be a lot of fun, and I hope you're ready for it. Until next time, everyone.